Hello and welcome to the latest video in the series of hints and tips on eToro and how to get the most out of the platform. In this video we're going to talk about the way that you can view multiple charts on the same screen at the same time without them overlapping. So not a lot of people know how to do this or even know that it exists and the only way that I actually know about it is quite a weird way of getting to it. Now, there may be a better way of doing this, and if there is, please, by all means, comment in the section below so that you can update everybody else. So, the way that I've found to get to this screen is you click on the watch list on the left-hand side of your screen. Then, when you have all your charts, you simply have to click on one of the graphs. And this is very important. This is the only section you have to click on one of these graphs here. Once you've done that, it opens a new tab and you then have a full full screen graph. And then what you have to do is at the top here, this little box, click this, and then you can display the screen however you want it to be. So if we were to set it out as six, this then gives us six different charts that we can use. So then to change it, what you do is you select the chart, you then type in the search bar as what you want it to be, and it will populate that chart. Okay, so so here you can see I've pre-populated this now with a random selection of different assets uh, for today. And you'll see that all of these are set in a very similar fashion. They're all on the one day chart. Now obviously you can change each one of these individually as you would normally as if these were a big screen. So if you then go to the chart here you'll find that if you were to then click on a, a different stock and go to a chart here, this can sometimes impact your charts here. So changing to have a look at a chart here will often change stats here as well. You will also find if you change timescales on this section, it can often impact on this section as well. So that's just to be aware that this will not stay permanently like this. But having said that, if you then close this screen down and then for whatever reason, go back to your watch list and back onto here, automatically it always comes up with your one screen. But when you click on the top here, you can then go back to your recently used and it brings up the six that you were on previously or however you had it recently. And if obviously this particular screen is a set of stocks that you want to keep an eye on and keep, you can click save your layout, change a name, set a name for it, and away you go so that you can constantly come back to this setup. Well, I hope you found that helpful. If you have, please make sure to leave a like and comment in the section below. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.